everybody, welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. As you can see, I'm here at Trader Joe's. I'm currently at the Brea location today. This is just generally a good location. They tend to have a lot more things here. And usually when seasonal items come in, they tend to keep a very well uh, stock supply. So I figured we would come in today and we would just see a big update, what's new as always, and what are some of my favorite things, some of the things I've tried and I can now review for you, and just what it's looking like as summer winds down. There's a lot of things that are just not gonna be as relevant anymore as uh, fall begins, believe it or not. Most things start gearing up for fall in August, even though it is still super hot here in California. It's hot and dry, but regardless, we try to get ourselves in the fall spirit as soon as it's mid-August. Uh, so this will be your final update for July here at Trader Joe's. And be assured the next time we are at Trader Joe's, there's gonna be some fall merchandise. So let's get in there and check it all out. Okay, at this location here in Brea, uh, they have a lot of plants outside. So I figured we'd start off, especially because uh, a lot of these are more for like summertime, so this is kind of our last looks at what will be around in the summer. Uh, they're all really, really pretty. I don't have any of these um, succulents, but I've kind of wanted to get them, and I don't know why I haven't. They're so perfect for here in California. These are all so pretty. And I like that you can get a bunch of different size ranges. Uh, especially the little ones that are only three dollars. You really can't go wrong with that. And I heard they're very hard to kill. <laughs> they also had a bunch of watermelons out here. And the coolest thing I found is they actually put up that little graph uh, about, you know, how to pick the right watermelon with the webbing, the field spot, and then kind of explained it, which I think is really cool. Although I still end up getting confused and overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, so now I know, look for more of the girl watermelons if you want them to be a little bit more sweet. Of course, there's a few more plants. This location honestly has the most amount of plants I've seen. I don't know why that is, but they do it right. Lots of herbs. I always recommend getting those basil plants, but just remember you have to nip the flowers off or they get really uh, bitter. <laughs> and uh, again, there's a bunch more over on this other side. Lots of cactus, succulents, air plants, which I heard air plants are really hard to kill too, so maybe something good right up my alley there. But lots of good options here. These little cactus are so pretty. And I know it's labeled wrong, but uh, these mini ones are the cutest. I definitely think if I get one, I would get a cute mini one. And uh, we have ghost pepper potato chips and jalapeno limeade. Definitely on my list of things I will never buy. I'm not a big jalapeno fan and I can't handle spicy. My guess is these kind of look a lot like uh, hot Cheetos. So. Hmm, if you can handle those, something good to try. Now something I love in the summer is champagne grapes. My grandma used to get these for us all the time. They are so sweet and so good, and um, they're just really tiny little clusters. Kids love these. Remember, they don't contain alcohol, because I've had many people actually ask me that. And I wanted to show you these uh, JoJo's. As you know, I don't normally buy JoJo's except for around the holidays, but this is your kind of last chance to get some for the summer. Now, I don't know if this flavor will stick around or anything, but uh, you know, pretty soon these will be pumpkin. And a new sauce I found is a sweet and spicy pineapple barbecue sauce. Again, spicy, no go for me, but I would love something with like the pineapple flavor. I'm wondering if it's not too spicy. It might be something I could actually try. And the lemon biscotti, I never say that right. Uh, and we also have the very popular saltwater taffy. These are all the summery flavors, watermelon, strawberry, cherry. I actually had this once, but I don't remember if I liked it, but I'm a big fan of saltwater taffy in general. And of course there's all the ice creams and gelatos. This is why I came over here because as you know, we are going to have fall flavors over here before we know it. 
I'm ready for the pumpkin, especially the little hold the cone pumpkins. Oh, those are or pumpkin, little hold the cone pumpkins. That made no sense, but you know. Um, so yeah, and then I think it would be so cool if there was a mochi that was kind of a fall flavor. I don't know if they've ever had one. I don't remember, but it'd be good. Wanted to point this out. This is a delicious chicken soup dumplings, especially with people, you know, coming into fall and, you know, whatever. That's a really good soup to have nice and hearty and delicious broth. And I wanted to point this out because this has been a staple for me lately, especially in the summer. Um, this vegetable fried rice, you just heat it up on the pan and I add a sauce that I'll show you in a little bit. But, oh my gosh, this is like an absolute staple for me. <laughs> well... I think if you don't know by now what this is, these are my favorites. I've been eating them every single day. So good. Another one of my favorites is the strawberry little licorice, soft licorice, but I don't know if this is new. Somebody point out, uh, I don't remember ever seeing a berry flavored soft licorice twist. Have to give those a try. Now this is something I decided to finally try. It's the um, you know, uh, packets that, okay, I thought they was just going to be like cherries. I guess I'm not, you know, <laughs> I don't understand it, but uh, I just saw that they're an excellent source of vitamin C. They're unsweetened, so just an FYI, it tastes very sour, very, very sour by itself, um, but it's actually bright orange. I thought it would be red, and this is delicious. I mean, a staple for me now is this cauliflower uh, crust cheese pizza. Spencer and I both love it. It is so good. I think it's good for fall. It's good for all seasons actually. And this is a send off to summer. Pink lemonade. This low calorie pink lemonade which I actually really like but I like the sparkling version a little bit better. Kind of like the limeade we buy. And uh, the little pink and white cookies. These are kind of like circus cookies but they're in flowers so they're very springy and summery. And of course, these just won't be as popular by the time fall comes around. So grab them now, although I'm sure they'll be available. Now, this I've been waiting to tell you. If you remember my last Trader Joe's video, you saw how I got these uh, cashew yogurts. Oh my goodness, I love these. As much as the harmless coconut, these are a dairy-free alternative with a hint of coconut cream. These are delicious. I had the vanilla and I liked it, but the strawberry, is my absolute favorite. I stocked up and bought like six of these because they're kind of hard to find now. And I finally tried the black tea with peach juice. It's very good. Don't expect it to be sweet. Uh, it's very, very, it almost tastes like sparkling water more than anything with just a hint of flavor. Uh, it's super good cold. It's not very good warm. I definitely don't recommend it warm now that I think about it. But this is very refreshing because even though fall is coming, it's still really hot, especially here in California. So um, definitely recommend these. And the corn cookies. Did anybody actually try these? Out of curiosity. I never even tried these uh, saddle potato chips, but they are fairly new. And this is definitely new. This is a um, unsweetened like a uh, hemp milk beverage that you can add to your coffee or something like that. It's a, a good unsweetened non-dairy um, dairy alternative uh, to put in your coffee or whatever you may need it for a smoothie. Uh, so yeah, something to try. And I really love the packaging. And this just screams summer to me. These coconut crispy roll wafer cookies. These are really good. Uh, again, not very sweet, which is what I like about them, and they're pretty light. They're really nice to have with like a little bit of ice cream or yogurt in the summer. And something I wanted to point out is this hand sanitizer. I love this hand sanitizer. Spencer and I um, have these all over. We have one in the car, I have one in my purse, one in our backpack. It's just, it's the best. But what I wanted to point out on these is that they are over 70%. You want to look for over 70% alcohol and that's how you know you're getting effective um, use for that. Now these are new and I'm guessing they look kind of fall-like. Would you agree? Uh, they are basically muffin mixes inside um, the little package and you just add the liquid and you know cook it and eat it right out of there. Uh, I just thought they totally had like fall, I mean they have the fall leaves on there so they have to be. I think this might be the first sign of what's coming for fall, especially because it's maple. It just makes sense, but uh, it is a good 
protein, something you would probably want for breakfast, especially if you're going out on a walk or a nice hike. So yeah. This is also new. This is a no bake nut butter bar mix. So you can add whatever nut butter you want. You don't even have to add nuts. You can add honey or maple syrup. I just love the packaging and I also think though this might be something that's new just for fall because this did just come in just like the protein muffin mixes. And of course a look at the candles. The only candle we have right now is still our summer uh, mango candle. And this is the sauce I wanted to show you. This is the gyoza sauce. I put this on everything. I use it with um, the, I, I mean, I literally pour this on rice. I'm obsessed with it. You either love it or hate it. I've known a few people say they don't like it, but I love this sauce. It is so good. And something I wanted to point out, a new ghee spray. Now, if you don't know what ghee is, it's basically clarified um, butter, from what I understand, and it's mixed with sunflower. But look at this packaging. Are you kidding me? It matches my friendship bracelet with Liz. I would want it just for that. So I definitely grabbed this. I would just buy this anyway, just based on the packaging, because it's that great. I'm so excited to use this to uh, make some veggies in. Something else new that I definitely won't eat, because I'm not the biggest banana fan in general, but these are um, not just banana chips. They're actually the ribbons, and they're si uh, slightly sweetened with a glaze, so I'm sure they're nice and crunchy. I also grabbed this peppermint tea tree shampoo bar. Uh, I really like how it's only $3.99, probably not something you would use every day, but I love tea tree in my hair every once in a while because I, I use Enjoy and um, that stuff just works best for my hair as well as purple shampoo here and there, but I'm excited to give this a try. Found this Korean roasted barley tea. Now it says you can have this cold or hot and it's good, I guess it's a, um, a caffeine-free tea, which I kind of was gonna get, and then I was like, well, I didn't realize it's not. there's no caffeine in it. I really like to have caffeine in my tea, unless I'm having a little bit of green tea. Uh, but for anybody who's looking for something to try, here you go. Another summer, summer oh, that's a tongue twister, a summer staple saying goodbye. Uh, the 100% pineapple juice, I love these. I, I do like the mangoes, but the pineapple juice is my favorite and that's something I would you know definitely recommend while it's hot okay and last but not least a little bit of the bakery section not much because you know we got to save it for fall um, okay so if you're a fan of these salted uh, chocolate chunk cookies I wasn't the biggest fan they are good but they were a little too salty for me uh, these are back and they seem to be a staple just a quick peruse over the um, other baked goods. They have the sour cream donut, soon that'll be, I'm sure, a fall pumpkin donut. The pancake bread, I think that'll definitely be hanging around as a staple for sure as well. And something I was really ha excited about, even though I couldn't buy them because, you know, gotta lay off on the sweets, is those mini cupcakes. Spencer loves the vanilla, I love the chocolate, they are the best. And with that, we are out into the heat, but it was a good trip nonetheless. And this is your reminder, always put your carts away. It's just the nice thing you can do. Spencer would be very mad if I didn't do that because he watches cart narcs. So that wraps it up for today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I always love coming into Trader Joe's to see what's new and being able to grab some of the new items and then just really getting excited for fall. It's gonna be here so soon. I mean, the time is just flying by. I'm really, really excited. So if you like videos like this and you want to see more, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. You'll definitely want to subscribe if you are excited to see all of the new fall things that are coming in. And we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody. I was so desperately craving one of these yogurts. I forgot to grab utensils from in there but I had my fork left over from my salad from eating lunch and I am going to eat this with a fork. This is real desperation, folks. This is definitely not my brightest moment. It's kind of embarrassing, some people have walked by. Now this consistency of this yogurt is especially
it's not like a, a thick custardy situation, but it's really e weird and it's hard to eat with a fork. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> I've been craving this yogurt for quite some time, uh, ever since I last got it on the last video and haven't been able to get the strawberry. So I deserve this. Cheers.